Hello, everybody. Um, I had a good day, a uh, good weekend, actually. I was helping my wife with a, a woman's retreat out of state, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, yesterday was a good day. It was communion, communion Sunday at church, and I was blessed to be able to uh, facilitate the communion service as well. Um, it is uh, just great to be uh, used by God, uh, involved in his work and in his ministries, and being able to bring people closer to Christ. But... Um, the, the, the sermon that uh, Pastor shared on Sunday uh, really hit home. Uh, it's from Luke 17. If we read the beginning of Luke 17 for, from verse 1, Jesus is telling us um, how to deal with controversy, how to deal with people who harm us. And he says, um, and we've heard this, these verses before, uh, he tells us to forgive someone if they harm us seven times. And they say, well, how many times do we need to forgive you? And he says, seven times 70. In other words, as many times as someone hurts you, we are to forgive them. And we look at that, we say, well, that's, that's kind of hard. And, um, and he said, yeah, well, it, it's impossible to go through life without being hurt. Um, this, this world is, is evil, this sin is rampant. And, and daily we go through these struggles of people harming us, people hurting us, and you know, having to deal with the pain and suffering and, and anger within us, but yet, Christ reminds us to forgive, even as he forgave us. Uh, Luke 17, 5 tells us that uh, the apostles responded by that by saying, increase our faith. Uh, that's a scary prayer because increasing your faith means depending on God more, which probably would mean more struggles will come along. But yet we need faith of a mustard seed, it goes on to sh uh, share in, in Luke 17. Faith of a tiny little mustard seed which grows into a huge plant. Um, and it will cause us to um, just forgive others. We look at our life, how God forgave us, and the many things he still forgives us from today. And um, it kind of makes sense that we need to forgive other people. If we want people to see Christ in us, then we need to forgive. We need to live a life that's full of grace and mercy, uh, able to forgive, able to forget, able to move on from our pains. And uh, we will have those pains in this world. Uh, there's no way to avoid it. Um, in Luke 17, it goes on to say um, that if we had the kind of faith of a mustard seed, we could tell this plant, uh, a sycamine plant, the Bible says, that grows deep into the ground, some up to 30 feet deep into the ground, and it grows wide, so, so wide that you can see the roots on top of the ground. And he says, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you can tell that plant to get up and go into the ocean. That means you have to uproot from, from deep in the ground and move it. Sometimes our pain is deeply rooted in our hearts, and it's hard for us to remove it. But yet with faith, faith in God, just as he removed our sins, he can remove that pain and that, that anger, that resentment that's built up inside of us so that we can forgive others and free ourselves up. That's the biggest thing, too. Forgiveness frees us up. If we continue to carry anger and, and resentment, the person who harmed us isn't feeling that we are. We're, we're harming ourselves by holding on to it. So God increase our faith today that we can forgive and forget, that we can move on from pain, and that we can share your grace and mercy that you've given to us with other people. Lord, remove the resentment from us, uproot it, get rid of it, so that we can live a life of grace and mercy and peace within our own hearts and peace among others. Help us to learn how to forgive. Help us to show Christ to others today. And we pray for those who harm us, pray for those who will harm us, and we pray that we'll have the grace to forgive them. And more importantly, to be one with Christ so that bitterness doesn't grow up inside of us and then come out when we least expect it. So God, grant us peace, grant us mercy, grace today that we can show you to other people. God bless you today. If you need any, any prayers, if you need me to pray for you, with you, please let me know. And continue to pray for me. Pray for our nation. Uh, as we know that tomorrow is Election Day in the United States. Um, promises to be a controversial day for, uh, nonetheless so god bless america uh, keep us lord keep us in your graces and protect those of us who call you father and call you lord call you savior keep us lord in your care god bless you